Yo, Jay Blink here. In 2025, the Flipper Zero has a much steeper price, $199. That's a big jump from its Kickstarter days and it begs the question, has the hype finally gotten bigger than the value? Is this iconic multi-tool still the king for curious minds? Or is it just an overpriced toy? Today, we're breaking it all down to find out if it's still worth the cash. So, before we judge the price, let's do a quick rundown in case you've been living under a rock. The Flipper Zero is basically a portable all-in-one gadget for tech hobbyists and security testers. People call it a hacker Swiss army knife and for a good reason. It crams an insane number of tools into one tiny body. It's got a sub gigahertz radio, which is pretty much the same tech used in stuff like garage door openers and old car remotes. It has NFC and RFID so it can read, save, and even pretend to be the key cards and fobs you use for your gym or office. It even has an infrared port, which pretty much turns it into a universal TV remote. It can act as a bad USB, which means you can plug it into a computer and have it type out scripts like a secret agent. It even has GPIO pins so you can connect it to other hardware for pretty much endless projects. And the best part, the whole thing is gamified. You have a little dolphin mascot that grows and gets new looks as you use different tools. It was designed from the ground up to make exploring the hidden world of radio waves and hardware feel fun and easy, which is a huge reason it blew up in the first place. So where does the flipper actually live up to all that hype? Let's talk about three things it does so well they almost justify that $199 price tag all on their own. Well, first, it's the undisputed king of universal remotes. The infrared feature is genuinely awesome. The built-in library of remotes is huge, and the learning function lets you capture a signal from pretty much any remote you can find, save it, and use it whenever you want. Pranks are fun, but this is actually useful. You can finally combine all your remotes into one device or control that old stereo whose remote vanished years ago. It even has an Xbox controller. It's a simple feature, but it works perfectly and shows off the flipper's power right out of the box. Second, it's a digital key master. Well, for some things. Being able to read and copy low frequency RFID cards like your work badge or gym fob is incredibly powerful. For ethical reasons, of course, like making a backup for yourself, it's fantastic. It gives you a real hands-on way to see how the access systems you use every day actually work. No, it's not breaking into high security buildings, but as a tool for exploring the tech already in your pocket, it's amazing. And third, it's an unmatched gateway for learning. This is the Flipper's real superpower. For so many people, this device is the first step they take into cybersecurity and radio protocols. It takes these fuzzy abstract concepts like sub gigahertz and makes them interactive. The community around it is massive, constantly dropping new apps and guides that make the Flipper even more capable. If you're a curious person, the Flipper is a launchpad into a thousand different rabbit holes from radio hacking to hardware development. But time for a reality check. The Flipper Zero's viral frame was built on a mountain of hype and frankly, a lot of it is just wrong. Let's bust a few of the most common myths. Myth number one, you can use it to steal any modern car. This is the biggest one thanks to a million TikToks. The truth, you can't use a flipper to just start up and drive off in a modern car. And pretty much any car made in the last 20 years uses rolling codes. This means the code your key fob sends out changes every single time you use it. The flipper might be able to catch the signal once, but that signal is immediately useless. 
it won't work a second time. So no, you're not about to become the star of your own Grand Theft Auto game. Second myth is that it can steal credit card information. Again, false. Your modern tap to pay credit and debit cards use one-time codes and encryption for security. While the flipper might be able to read the card number off some cards, it can't grab the critical security data needed to actually make a purchase or clone the card. So your money is safe. And myth number three, it's a magic hacking tool that can break into anything. Now the flipper has stirred up a ton of drama, getting banned from Amazon and even seized by customs in some countries over fears it's a criminal's master key. But in reality, the flipper isn't magic, it's a tool. And just like any tool, it's only as good as the person using it and the lock they're trying to pick. It's not going to get you past any serious modern security system on its own. All right, we separated the hype from the reality and a clearer picture is starting to form. If you're finding this breakdown helpful, do me a huge quick favor and hit that subscribe button. It's free for you and it's a huge help for the channel. It means you won't miss out on more tech deep dives like this one. And that brings us to the most honest take you hear on the Flipper Zero. It's a jack of all trades, but a master of none. Now, that's not really an insult, it's literally the whole point of its design. For just about everything the flipper does, like gaming, there's a more powerful specialized tool out there. For serious RFID and NFC research, pros use something like a Proxmark 3, which gives you way more power to analyze what's going on. For exploring the vast world of radio signals, a dedicated SDR like the Hack RF1 has way more range and flexibility. Even for Wi-Fi hacking, which the flipper can do with an extra board, a dedicated tool is way more effective. So if you're a professional needing to do a deep technical dive on a specific system, the flipper probably isn't what you were reaching for first. It's the gadget you use for a quick first pass, the handy thing you have in your bag to see what's next. But when it's time for the serious work, you'll grab your specialized gear. Understanding this is the key to not being disappointed. But judging the flipper just on its hardware is only half the picture. The real long-term value of this thing comes from its ecosystem. The Flipper's firmware is open source and that has created a massive, passionate community of developers. The community has built amazing custom firmware like Momentum, which unlock totally new features, adds supports for new protocols, and completely changes the user interface for the better. These firmware options are packed with powerful apps and plugins that go way beyond what the official software can do. And then there's the hardware. The official Wi-Fi dev board is just the start. These GPIO pins on top let you connect a whole universe of other modules, like weather sensors, GPS receivers, cellular modems, you name it. This expandability means the Flipper isn't just one device, it's a platform that's always growing and evolving, almost entirely because of its users. The constant development is a huge part of what you're paying for. When the Flipper first came out, it was pretty much in a league of its own, but here in 2025, it's not the only game in town anymore. A new wave of so-called Flipper Zero killers has shown up usually focusing on one specific feature at a much lower price. Devices like the BLE Shark Nano, for example, are all about Bluetooth low energy hacking and cost a fraction of the price. Others like the T Embed from LilyGo are getting popular with solid firmware and great community support, offering a budget-friendly alternative. And for the radio nerds, the H4M Portal Pack offers powerful radio hacking features that are, in some ways, even better than the flippers. These competitors make the is it worth it question a lot more interesting. If you only care about Bluetooth or only want to explore radio signals, 
one of these cheaper specialized tools might be a smarter buy. The flipper's biggest selling point is it's still all in one convenience, but you have options now. So here's the final take. The Flipper Zero's price went up, but so did its legend. For the curious learner, the new hobbyist, and the tech lover who just wants to tinker, it's still an amazing educational tool that's totally worth the investment. It's a gateway, not a golden ticket. For the seasoned pro, it's a fun, handy gadget for your arsenal, but it's not a magic bullet. The hype might make you think it's a master key to the digital world, but in reality, it's a bit different. But that's just what I think. What about you? If you own a flipper, do you still feel it's worth the price in 2025? Let me know what you think down in the comments. And if you enjoy this analysis, think about subscribing for more breakdowns of the tech that defines our world. I'm Jay Blanks. Thanks for watching. Peace.